Hey everybody, this is Angela. Uh, so in this video, I decided to take a little piece of trash, which is one of these little um, plastic bottle things that you need to cut up so that the seagulls don't get their little beaks tangled in it. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pour on it just to see if it gives me any neat patterns or anything. Um, I don't know. I'm once it's, once it's all done and dried, um, which it is now, um, I'm still going to cut it up before I throw it away, but I figured, uh, you know, why not, why not make it pretty first, so, um, so yeah, um, using, <laughs> again, my mixed media girl paints, I'm finding that when I have time to paint, I'm reaching for the things that are ready mixed, because, while I love the process of mixing paint, I just haven't really had the time to do it. Um, I, I love painting. I enjoy it so much and um, I really, really enjoy the process of mixing paint too. But um, yeah, I just, I haven't, I've been so busy with other things um, and life just gets in the way. So. Okay, fully ready made paint, make it easy. So, so I decided to pour over this little plastic piece and I just, um, I was gonna tree ring it, but then I was like, no, it's not really like conducive for like a brown sort of thing. So I just kind of went back and forth and made some fun lines and um, it did kind of get like under the plastic bits because it doesn't sit flat on the canvas. So, um, and I'm sorry, I love doing this little loop. <laughs> I just think that's so fun to watch. I don't know. Little things, right? Um, but I also had to show this <laughs> this view because um, once the paint comes out of that Lily Veffy bowl, um, which is a reusable silicone bowl, it, um, <laughs> not sponsored, um, <laughs> it is gorgeous um, hopefully it stayed that way I haven't checked on it but it would make for some neat skin to play with later but the inside of that bowl came out so pretty I really love this color combination I don't know I was kind of drawn to like just oceany colors again I'm thinking probably of the poor seagulls <laughs> um, I love that lime green from the Mixed Media Girl line. I don't know if it's called lime green. Probably got a fancier name than that. But here's the inside of that bowl. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those cells. Oh, I almost wish that was on the canvas, but... Oh well. <laughs> so pretty. So, so pretty. So I let this sit for just a second because I was contemplating like, okay, now that I've got this on there, how am I going to pick it up? <laughs> and um, I just ended up grabbing a palette knife. I thought I had tweezers nearby, but I couldn't find them. So um, it didn't really leave too much in there, but it did leave some lines, kind of almost little infinity lines. Um, I don't know. It just made it a little, little interesting. Little, little something extra, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to stretch it too much. I re so I really just sort of tilted back and forth as opposed to just you know ramming it all off one side. Because um, I really just, I really kind of liked how it came out um, from the get go. And those colors I just thought were really pretty. So and um. I didn't over torch, which is amazing for me. More or less just torch to get the air bubbles out. Um, and then I went in for a close up while the paint was still wet. So, here's that.
we should probably mention that uh, there, there's no silicone in this paint. Um, it's just how the paints react with one another um, and how much you stretch or how much you torch and that's how you get those cells. So overall I thought it was pretty cool. Fun little experiment. Um, and now I have a <laughs> fun little plastic uh, piece of art to go with it too. Just kidding, I totally chopped it up into little pieces when I was done. So, thanks for watching. Here are the dry results, and I hope we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.